Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're checking out the Dragonfly Mac 1 by Vulcan Surfboards. Um, the Dragonfly Mac 1 that I have is a 5.9, and it's 5.9 by 20 by 17.30 seconds, and it comes in exactly 31.1 litres. Um, so if you're not familiar with Vulcan surfboards, they're from a shaper from California called Dane Hunts. I hope I said that right, Dane. Um, and he's quite the craftsman, and he's really into some pretty unique shapes, um, but all about stuff that works and moves across water really, really quickly. Um, and this was definitely one of those specimens. So having a look at the Dragonfly Mac 1, uh, one of the first things, I don't know if you can see it on camera there, but it has a really flat deck and then the rail just drops away. And I'm not sure what the proper term is for it. I think some people call it a step deck, but it gives you like a really thick and flat center that will hold volume across the board. Um, and then it comes into a really pinched and really low rail, which if you haven't surfed something like that before for the first few kind of waves is pretty unique and something you get used to. Um, flipping over the Dragonfly, um, it feels like it's a bit of a single coming through the board and then a double starts about halfway, a double concave starts about halfway through the board and then it seems like it's a double through a single uh, through the fins and out of the tail. Um, so I grabbed this um, Dragonfly Mac 1 when I was in California a couple of months ago. I uh, met up with Dane and his crew there. Um, we spoke about some different boards and whatnot and this is the one we kind of landed on. So. Um, since getting it, I've been able to surf it in a variety of conditions back home and um, it took a bit of getting used to it first because it's really different to something I've ridden before. Um, but I know what Dane's like, I know the stuff he's into and everything he kind of does works and it, he's into making really fast boards um, for really kind of performance surfing. So one of the first things was this board has a lot of grip. So I don't know if it's because of the low rail, but the original fins that I put in the board were just too much, much too big. And while it was really, really fast and I enjoyed the board, I found it quite hard to turn. Um, so that's why I ended up coming along with, this is the David Rastovich uh, quad set by Futures. Um, it's something I wouldn't normally think I'd ride. It's, it's quite a small fin and it's a very soft fin. Um, and I've tried it before in different boards and for my weight, I found it was much too soft of a fin. But in this, it felt perfect. Um, the board has a lot of natural grip um, and it holds through turns really, really well. And this soft fin felt really, really good. But saying that, I must say, chatting with Dane, I was having a chat because I was trying to work out a fin that would work well. He actually uses a split keel. So I think he rides an FTS2 setup in the board and he uses a split keel fronts. And I think he said the reactor quads as a rear fin. Um, personally, I think that would give me much too much hold. Um, and this is something that I landed on that felt really, really good in the end. I really, really enjoyed surfing it. Um, so I brought the board back to Australia and I've been able to surf it in a variety of conditions. Um, I must say that the board feels really at home in some kind of longer waves. If you can get a face and a wave that opens up, the board is really, really fast. And like I said, it's got this, this drop away rail, which was just, I hadn't surfed anything like it. And it just, when you can get a wave that opens up with a bit of face, putting us through the water is a really different feeling. And saying that, I, you don't see this too often in board design. Um, and I'm kind of surprised because it's just an interesting part of surfing. Like all rails, fairly similarly have low, medium, kind of full rails. But this is almost like a different type of surfing. Um, you know, getting used to how this board works through the water, it's super, super fast and just putting it into a turn, you weren't kind of sure, sure at first what it was going to do. But once you did get used to it, I just love the way it would surf. And you'd kind of come up and you do these arcs and you end up in layback but you felt like the grip through the rail and through the tail of the board, you could just hold turns much longer. Where normally you'd kind of stop or fall off, the board would naturally kind of hold its pace through the turn um, and just grip through it. And you do these kind of turns and this surfing, you didn't think you'd normally do. Like I said, I'm, I'm normally a bit of a, a purist for a high performance kind of short board. Um, and when I saw this, it's very, very different to what I've ridden before, but I loved it. It was a different type of surfing and, and eyeing it off at first, I thought it was a bit of a groveler for kind of average kind of summary waves, uh, but not at all. It's for, you know, it goes okay in those kind of waves, but I think this thing would excel in some really kind of pumping waves. Unfortunately, we don't get very pumping waves that often, but when I have taken out waves, they've kind of been overhead with a bit of push and some open face. Um, I've loved the kind of different surfing I've been able to do with this board. It's really kind of pushed me into a different area of my surfing, um, which, I, which I would kind of 
you know, recommend to anyone that wants to kind of excel or push their surfing in different areas. Uh, also, aesthetically, it's one of the best boards I've ever seen. Like, the tint on the board is amazing. It's a beautiful looking board. And Dane is just such a craftsman um, that he puts a lot of time and effort in these things. He wants them to be, you know, perfect. And it was really good. I was able to have a good chat with him about the board, how it works, and some other stuff that Vulcan are doing. And it was, it was great. It was really good to have a chat with the shaper about, you know, what the board's designed to do, who it's for, and the kind of waves and surfing it wants to do. Uh, overall, I've absolutely loved surfing the Dragonfly Mac 1 by Vulcan. Um, it's a different type of surfing for me, and I think anyone who's probably used to, you know, if you're into these kind of boards and used to them, you know, grab one. This thing is epic and you'll really enjoy it. If you're a surfer who's ridden, you know, your more contemporary kind of high performance shortboards and you want something that's going to push your surfing in a different area, um, this is it. Um, yeah, for anyone from an intermediate to an advanced surfer, I recommend checking it out. I hope you enjoyed the review today, and thanks for watching. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. If you like what you saw, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could hit like. Uh, if you want to see more of what we're doing, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe. Um, beyond what we're doing here on YouTube, we also have an Instagram account, which we're keeping pretty active with. You'll find it on Instagram at the surfboard guide. And on there, we'll be posting stuff about boards. We have immediate stuff about our experiences with them. We'll also have a chance to maybe connect with other people that have an experience with board that you may be interested in. Thanks so much for watching.